Hey, what's happening guys? I just wanted to hop on here. Man, just God's so good and uh, how he moves and how he speaks to his people. You know, this we're about to go baptize you know, a man of God. He was touched and, you know, he never had a, a God encounter before. And we went to go eat lunch and uh, we ended up praying for him. And my God, he showed up so powerfully. And like, he got delivered. He got filled with the Holy Spirit. And God was truly setting him free. Don't look up to the man to the stage and say, well, he can do it and I can't. But God has put us on an assignment. Guys, this is war. This is, we need to go. It's not a time to be stagnant. It's not a time to sit behind a pew. It's not a time to just go and have a 60 minute Jesus. It's time to go out. It's time to be fishers of men. We're about to go baptize him. We're gonna film a little more of the baptism. But guys, I wanna let you guys know, I just wanna encourage you that this is for you guys that God wants to work through you and uh, that he just wants you to go and spread the love, the love that you have received, the love that you have encountered, the freedom and just the glory and the tender mercy he's shown on you. He wants you to go and show that to people, your friends, your family, people that are around you from close to far. Guys, this is just like an everyday thing. It should be going, if you're going for a cup of coffee, talking to somebody, if you're going to the gym, if you're going to go get some ice cream, you're going to go eat dinner with the family, like God can work through you. It's just not about standing on on a soapbox and just preaching the word of God although that is awesome and, and cool to do but he's calling us to go and preach the word wherever our feet are placed he wants to work with us and through us so guys I pray that you're blessed I pray that you stay steadfast in the faith and guys Jesus come Maranatha God we love you I love you guys and stay blessed I'll see you guys on the other side to the baptism rise with Christ thank you Jesus pray deliverance right away God, right now we just pray. Everything leave right now in the name of Jesus. I command every demonic spirit to depart from him right now. In the name of Jesus, that serpent spirit, come out of him. Come out of him. All the way out. All the way out. Come on. Come on. You know the deal here, spirits with the water. You got to come out of him. Come out of him. Come out. Come out of him. That spirit of bitterness, resentment, suicide, come out of him. Yep. There you are. Come out. Come out of him. Come out of him. Come out. Right now. Come out. All the way. Out, out, right now. Come up and out of him. Come up and out of him in the name of Yeshua. All the way out, you spirit. Yep. Come out, you serpent spirit. Come on. Out. All the way. Leave. Leave. Leave right now, you spirit of witchcraft, you serpent spirit. Come on. All the way out. Out of him. Out of him. Out of him right now. He's been delivered. This water is a contract and you need to leave. Holy Spirit, fill him up with your glory. Fill him up with your glory. There you are. Come on. Come on. Fill him up with your work, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just break up. Break the sound barrier, brother. You need to break that sound barrier. There you go. Raise your voice. Raise your voice. It's not time to be silent in this world. It's not time to be silent in your family. You need to start lifting up your voice for the and declaring the year of the Lord and the freedom of the Lord Jesus Christ and the gospel of the kingdom. Thank you, Jesus, set him free. Thank you, Lord, use this man in mighty ways. Use this man to cast out and uproot demons in Jesus' name. Use this man to go heal the sick, God. Use this man to go resurrect the dead. So we just thank you, Lord, for your glory. We thank you for your beautiful word that sets the captives free. For this man is no longer captive, but has been set free by blood, water, and spirit, by the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. So God, we just pray a blessing over him, his household. May you endure to the end. May you stand strong. May you run the race with endurance. When you fall, you may get up. God, thank you for him. Guys, it's such a blessing just to, you know, be used by the Lord. You know, I used to do a lot of demonic things with my with my mouth, my my hands, you know, my eyes. And, you know, just the fact that God can take you know my instruments like all my you know my hands my mouth my eyes my ears and just i could be used for righteousness sake so guys just to encourage you that god wants to use you i don't care where you're at god doesn't care where you're at he wants to use you whether that's in you know retail restaurants construction he can use you and wherever you're at it's just hearing 
that small still voice from the Holy Spirit and saying yes. And the more that we say yes to Yeshua, the more he's just like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna bless you with some more people. I'm gonna bless you some more. I wanna bless you with people that you can baptize, you can lay hands on people that, I wanna bless you with people that wanna be set free in Jesus' name. And so guys, just to encourage you that this life is for you in Jesus' name, that he's commanded us to go and do these things. So I urge you and I encourage you, please go out. Now is not a time for peace and rest. Now is a time for fighting and to take back and to go and declare and decree in the name of Jesus the good news that he has brought, that he has torn the veil and that we are able to go in right standing with our Father, Yahweh. And guys, I pray that you abide in the vine. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. We're in the end times. You know, guys, there's going to be rest in the age to come. But guys, we, we cannot rest in this age that we must go forth and preach the gospel and, and tell every soul the good news of Jesus Christ so that they may be snatched from the fire to come. So guys, I just pray that you go out, you preach a hearty word in Jesus' name, and that you go out and declare the good news of Jesus Christ. I pray a blessing over your household. And guys, I just, I, it's just like we say in every podcast, you know, I love you, but Maranatha, Jesus comes soon. I'll see you guys soon.